As Deputy Governor and Head of the Civil Service, I'm delighted to announce the launch of my office's online system for persons seeking to be naturalized or registered as British Overseas Territory citizens and those who wish to apply for proof of nationality letters. This is an important development as we work towards enhancing the delivery of service to our valuable customers and achieving our vision of becoming a world-class civil service. This informational video will guide you through this new online system and will prepare you for all application processes associated with British Overseas Territories citizenship. The road to becoming a British Overseas Territories citizen just became a lot smoother. If you or someone you know needs to be naturalized or registered as a British Overseas Territories citizen, or if you are already a citizen and need to replace your lost or damaged certificate, then you may find this instructional video helpful. Before beginning the application process, for the security of all users, first-time users must register by simply clicking register at the bottom of the sign-in box. For added security, you will need to have access to a valid email address and a Cayman Islands mobile phone number that can accept SMS messages. Once on the portal, users will have the option to select an application type. After selecting the application, please pay special attention to the Guidance Notes page. The Guidelines tab in the top right-hand corner of each section of the application will allow you to refer to those notes throughout the application process. The Guidance Notes page provides general guidelines, information that will assist when completing the application form, a list of all of the documents which will need to be submitted along with the application form and details of the fees and how payments can be made. Before proceeding, save all of the documents that will accompany your application in PDF format to your computer. Photos of the passport page and the passport photo can be uploaded as JPEG files. Read the warning and privacy notice, then certify that all of the information is correct and that you will notify the Office of the Deputy Governor in writing of any change in circumstances, which may affect the accuracy of the information given. Applicant details will be entered in the first section of the application form. When entering dates in the application form by clicking the month and year, you can then scroll through the years and select the month and day. To display additional information about a text box, hover your mouse over the information icon. When prompted to download forms, please save them to your computer. These forms will need to be uploaded towards the end of the application process. There are previous and next buttons at the bottom of each page, which allow you to navigate through your application. You can save your progress and exit the application process at any time. In the next section, you will answer questions related to your character and residency in the Cayman Islands. Applicants will be asked to disclose details of arrests or convictions. The Consent and Declarations page provides you with forms which must be downloaded, saved and completed. You've now come to the section of the application where all supporting documents will be uploaded. Documents marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Please check to ensure that your copied documents have been certified by a Justice of the Peace or Notary Public. You must upload either the certified copy of Cayman Status Letter, Right to be Caymanian Certificate, or the Letter of Permanent Residence and Certified Copy of Residency and Employment Rights Certificate. You can reselect or cancel the upload of documents by clicking on the specific document again. If you upload the incorrect document, just go back and select the correct document. The final step is payment. Applicants can choose to make payment through the Secure Payment Gateway via credit or debit card. If you would like to pay in person, you can pay at any post office. Then drop off your proof of payment and your offline payment voucher in the drop box at the Government Administration Building. At this stage, you may preview your application and save or print a copy for your records. Click Submit when you have completed your application. 
Please note that applications will not be processed until payment is received. Customer feedback is very important to the Office of the Deputy Governor, so please take the time to rate your experience. Incomplete applications can be found in the Drafts tab to the left of the screen, and completed applications can be found in the Submitted tab. You can conveniently track the status of your applications here and will be alerted to any messages from the Office of the Deputy Governor in the Notifications tab.